So the exhibition is Memory Unearthed, the Loge Ghetto Photographs by Henrik Ross. Henrik Ross was an official photographer in the Lodz Ghetto in Poland from 1940 to 44. He was a Jew required to be there following the Nazi takeover of Poland in 1939. Henrik Ross, towards the end of the war in 44, could see that the ghetto was being liquidated and feared for his own survival and had the insight to take all the photographs that he had taken as an official photographer and all the photographs he had taken at his own risk, um, surreptitious photographs of deportation and other moments in the ghetto, and he put all the photographs and the negatives into an iron-rimmed box and he buried them. And so Ross was later able to go literally unearth this box and all of these memories and all of this record that bears witness to this tragic time. If you look at the history line, this was very early on in the first years. Everything began to disintegrate slowly because of his lack of food, illnesses, diseases. Um, and what Ross then felt very strong that he had to photograph the full arc of life in the ghetto from every prospect that he had uh, opportunity. So he exploited the opportunities of being an official photographer of the statistics department and in between he took the moments that he could to show the, the actual treatment uh, of the Jews in the, in the ghetto. The humiliation and the pain and the suffering that was inflicted by not having food, by being forced to remove human waste, those images are, are not known by the general public, I think. Uh, he found this uh, man walking away with a Torah and he was photographing from the back. Um, there was a lot of fear at the time of what was going on and uh, the man carrying the Torah thought that this was the Gestapo. When Ross uh, asked him to turn around and said, look, I'm just a photographer here, I am photographing for the, for the history of what has been going on. At which time the man who carried the Torah went up on a pile of rubbles, held the Torah, uh, looking at Ross and said, okay then, take a good picture. Well, I think people will be moved to have this window into what people went through. And I think they'll be moved to think about how Ross took this great risk to record this tragedy of such a singular and important tragic moment in history.